Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the week of the 15th of June to the 21st and uh, 2020 and I hope you're all well and safe and if you're new and you've just landed on this page by coincidence, welcome and I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all then you should be getting notified. I will also leave um, a message in the community on Monday, Wednesday and Friday in future as a lot of people didn't get notified so you will be notified uh, uh, through community. I will leave the time and um, then keep an eye on the community on those days if you wish to join me in the live sessions in the tea room. I give away free cards and I also um, answer questions that are supported by a donation, super chat or super sticker. If you would like to have an extensive reading then please look underneath this video in the description box for more information. Or click on the white circle with the eye in the right hand corner. That will take you to the website and you can see everything uh, that is on offer there and also about the competition that's going on at the moment until the end of August because you can win a free deck um, of the Shadowlands. So if you are uh, interested in getting a deck of the Shadowlands then please join the competition. Nobody is a loser there uh, or you can win the vice versa or a free reading. Those are the three prizes that are uh, going uh, or are on offer. Okay, um, this is the Querent uh, card or the overall energy Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. That is the weekly reading. I'm going to do it and I'm going to use these cards to be clarified by these three or vice versa in each corner. And welcome to my Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and your like and shares. Um, Leo, this is Leo's reading, sorry I didn't say that, you uh, had 27 likes, so that's why you're number 9. If you want to be or would like to be number 1 reading, that to come out, then keep on clicking. Okay, my beautiful Leos. And um, uh, welcome back and I do appreciate you sharing and liking. And that makes me know that I am doing okay and that you are enjoying the readings and that I, I do appreciate it and I show my appreciation by doing these readings and giving out free cards as you know in the tea room. The tea room has been a little bit quiet the last couple of days. On Monday it was really busy and although it is quiet um, I'm doing different things and uh, it's been really uh, enjoy. I enjoyed it. Sometimes it's nice to have a quiet tea room um, but it's also fantastic when we have one of those wacky nights that it's so busy. I know so uh, I hope you will continue to come back and join in from time to time and get free cards or get a question answered. I hope to see you. If not I hope you are safe and well and enjoying life to the fullest. Okay, your first card is the Queen of Wands. This could be you, Leo, because the Queen of Wands is Leo. Um, so you could be ultimately in your power. Or you could meet another Queen of Wands, another Leo. And this could be uh, a man as well with a feminine side to it, because we've got masculine and feminine in both of us like day and night and that's why I love this card because it's the shadow lands we all have a shadow the dark side or um, an, uh, you know it's like yes and no black and white day and night we do have our shadow side and the shadow side could be our fears not only our um, aggressive side okay the shadow side could also be our masculine side if we are a lady and when we're a man it could be our feminine side okay so that is what is meant by this shadow 
Now the Queen of Wands, she stands for somebody that really knows what she wants and she goes for it. She uses her cre creativity and her logic. She plans strategically on how to get what she wants. No wild horses could drag her away from her ideas. So that is you. So you might be full of passion, full of energy and action and creativity this week. That is you, Leo, all over. Now we're going on to Monday. And Monday we have the lovers. Like I said, you might be meeting another Queen of Wands. This could be a man or this could be a lady. And, you know, we all have relationships. Some have a relationship with the opposite sex and some have the relationship with the same sex. But it is your soulmate because that is what the lovers mean. You are with your soulmate or you will be meeting your soulmate. It could also be a Gemini because the lovers represents Gemini. It's a big arcana card, the lovers, and all, nearly all the arcana cards, the big arcana cards, are associated with a zodiac sign. In this one, it is Gemini, and you're in balance because you've got number six. On Wednesday, you have the six of pentacles, so perhaps somebody from the past might be coming back and giving you a gift. This could be a listening ear, a helping hand, or money, or literally a gift, like a bunch of flowers. Or you might be reminiscing about the past. Okay, It could also be somebody that has gone across to the other realm, some call it heaven, and it could be that they are leaving signs behind, just to let you know, don't worry, we are with you. We are protecting you. We can see how well you're doing, or what you're doing, what you're planning. We have the Wheel of Fortune on Friday. You might be moving home. You might be taking a holiday. You might be traveling, in other words, on Friday. What goes up must come down. What goes round comes round. So be careful, this is the karma card. If you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. And the same with negative, bad. And if somebody's done you wrong or good, they will get it back threefold as well. Something has come full circle. So there is a new beginning. You could be going up a level at work or in your own business or like getting more clients or in your love life, you might get engaged or married. Beautiful, an ending to being alone, an ending to a face, an ending to where you are and you're moving up to a next level. You might even get a pay rise with moving up a new beginning. You are celebrating at the weekend as you've got the three of wands with family and friends, Leo. Awesome. You are getting literally what you want. And remember, at the end of this week, we are going into cancer. So the energy is changing. We also have the magician. Again, the magician represents Gemini and Aries. Okay, now you've got Gemini lying next to you, so Gemini is quite important in your reading. You might be meeting up with them. Like I said, you might be going up to the next level, or you might be meeting them or an announcing that you've got a new love, and that could be celebrations. Wow, that is what you've been longing for, that's what you've been working towards, and you took the action and you dared to ask for their hand in partnership or in love. You have the Five of Cups. You, um, This is actually, if I did an extended reading, then this row would be the past. So you might be reminiscing about the past. But because it's in the past, um, you're not reminiscing uh, you're not crying over spilt milk anymore. You might be reminiscing about the past. These two cards are a lot alike. Okay. 
this is the pentacles but th in this deck um, I also take it as the six of cups because he's giving a present and the six um, the six of pentacles also means if you are more fortunate you are giving to others if you and if you're less fortunate then you might be receiving well with the five of cups and you see the past is coming back that's the six of cups there you they might be coming back but you're over them because you've moved on you've gone into a new uh, you've gone into a new path a new phase okay you feel stronger you don't need the past anymore and I think you're so wise a lot of you it is nice to reconciliate only if it is um, uh, an advantage to you what how how are they going to come back and why have they come back what can they offer you now that is different from the past because you're stronger you have grown mentally and physically you can stand your own ground you are strong you're the queen of wands you don't need anybody um, around you that is negative otherwise you wouldn't have left them or they left you okay you are looking at the two cups that are there and you've multiplied them you've taken um, things into your own hands you've changed the present and you're changing the future you're going into the future look at this you've got a beautiful future and you're celebrating the future you've got the nine of pentacles you're leaving the old behind you don't need what you you've lost you you will never be the same anyway you're stronger and perhaps more richer because you've got this new job or a promotion or more clients in your business awesome you are in the position to give something to somebody else now because you've worked hard and you've taken the action again we've got the Queen of Wands this is you and I said you might be meeting another Queen of Wands and now you have the Queen of Wands again so you might be partnering up this is what I'm seeing lovers is a partnership it could be in business but it could also be in love you are partnering up with somebody this could be somebody that you uh, you because you're um, you're more fortunate and you this could be a friend and she she or he let's keep it to she she is generous and she's she's just like you she's your soulmate because you just click you know when you um, do have a friendship with a person of the same zodiac it's either make or break but usually it is make because you've got the same action the same thoughts the same um, manners the same expectations you know that you want to go for something and you want to make something work and that is how and that's why you can work with somebody like that as well and it's good it's fantastic because you're double trouble <laughs> that's what I'm hearing but you're standing strong you're not standing on one leg you're standing on two two heads are better than one that's also what I'm hearing wow red action feather well that is your color red fire the angels advise you that a project or idea that you have been working on is finally nearing the point of transformation there you go perhaps you've been planning to form a partnership like I said whether it's in love or in work and you've got obsidian and you've got number 39 which becomes 11 so the angels have your back you can use this stone and it will help you to strengthen you and nurture uh, neutralize the negativity within you or around you and the card means the essential meaning is observing the self self-reflection 
know thyself well how fortunate you know thyself so you want to form up with somebody that's like you that's what we've been talking about I'm going to put it there so it's awesome this energy when you look in the mirror who looks back at you who do you view yourself how do you view yourself do you look into your own eyes and see one someone willing to acknowledge the past and learn from it wow that's what I said you don't need the past you're much stronger you're in a better position do you see someone willing to step into a new identity one more suited to the life you want for yourself all of us are ever changing and mix of past and present and hopes for the future the challenge is to trust that the you that you are becoming will be loved cherished and supported even if you are still just exploring your potential still unfamiliar with the new territory you have entered as you ponder what you wish to change love the one you are with you so love yourself in other words you are with yourself and I was talking about shadow sites so love your shadow side as well love yourself in all your complexity knowing that whatever strengths you need are present and obsidian spirit is here to amplify them through the power of self-awareness just as in observing a practical or a, a particle or a wave the observer can change its form so too in observing yourself can you begin to process the personal transformation you are going to love the you that you are becoming there you are you've left the past you're stronger awesome I love it now for a relationship the obsidian means self-awareness meaning means stop long uh, stopping long enough to acknowledge who you see when you observe yourself the beautiful you and the you who is imperfect we are all works in progress and as you engaged in honest self-reflection you will start to see what you were overlooking the qual uh, qualities you have been seeking in a partner but have forgotten exist within you because we usually choose or attract um, the opposite or the, the really sort looks for sort we do attract the opposite but sort looks for sort that's a very good saying that's just come up in me okay you have so much to offer as the ancient Greek axiom goes know thyself self to be authentic in any relationship you have to know and love yourself just as you are an obsidian spirit is here to remind you that you are awesome yes you are sort looks for sort and um, just in just before I said it doesn't matter who you love whether it's a man um, whether when you're a woman a man or whether you're a woman and you love the same sex or a man and you love the same sex it doesn't matter look how beautiful you are you are unique don't forget there that there's nobody the same as you you, you can have the same sign as you um, and you feel soulmates because you can understand the energy and w uh, what it means to come into action and know what to want so that is sort looks for sort and it's, it's coming together it's really lovely when it comes together I love it when a plan comes together that's the A team okay now I've also got a message for prosperity do you know your patterns do you know where your money and efforts go or is it all a big mystery at the end of the month there you are so don't repeat the past you've learned from the past hold on to some of the money for a rainy day 
Obsidian Spirits gentle message for you is to stop being afraid and I said the shadow side our fears of looking at your relationship with money for you have a serious tendency to underestimate your ability to manage the flow of abundance in your life that's true you should know as the queen of wands you should know better to experience the prosperity you deserve answer the call to heal your old fear-based habits wow fearful frugality and gee i hope they love me now generosity will not serve you on your healing journey any discomfort you have in looking at your relationship to finances is simply part of a necessary transition to accept yourself as you are today right now in this moment and you must accept yourself as you are for healing to take place self-awareness is always a good thing and if you will lead you to feel comfortable and confident in growing your abundance and that's not the only abundance your the the abundance of self-love the abundance of reaching a goal wow reaching the end where there is an end there is a new phase something else to learn so keep that uh, be conscious of yourself and um, know your boundaries let others know your boundaries you can adjust your boundaries at any time you're the one that's standing in the middle and in your power wow okay and you've got six six so you angels have your back I love it you are the magician you can make this new beginning work you have all the talents the cup the swords the pentacles and the ones you have everything you need to change your life if you're not happy with it so take action now awesome reading I love it Leo I hope you like it as well please give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends if you want to be the one that has the first reading of the week be the first zodiac sign and keep on clicking those likes I love you and thank you very much for watching take care and have a blessed week